It was raining heavily again here in Helsinki, and what better weather to really put your new camera to the test. I finally got my hands on this new Fujifilm X100 Mark VI, and after just one week, I'm completely in love with it. I have been shooting with various Fuji cameras for years now, and I know how well they can handle extreme weather, but still it's not every day that it's raining this much. I was trying to protect the camera by using an umbrella, but honestly, it was also so windy that the camera got soaked no matter what. So I guess I treated this Fuji's maiden voyage as a test of its capabilities. But it doesn't really matter if the camera can handle the rough weather, if the photos are not good. Luckily that's nothing that I really need to worry about. It's actually amazing what Fuji managed to pack into this small camera body. It's basically Fujifilm X-T5, but shrinked into the small, compact viewfinder camera. Since I do a lot of nighttime photography, the added in-body image stabilization really is helpful, and most of these videos are also shot with the Fuji, and that stabilization helps a lot there as well. All of these photos were shot handheld. When it's pitch dark, I still try to keep my shutter speed at least 1000 of a second, just to make sure I don't get blurry images. I could probably go a little lower, but I have found that suits me well. If I would use a tripod, I would probably change my aperture to something like 5.6, but since I don't, I keep it as wide as it gets, in 2.0. As much as I would have liked to stay up the whole night taking moody photos in the rain, it was getting quite cold out there since I was soaking wet. And above all that, I ran out of memory. So after deleting some of the shots I took earlier that day, I still managed to take these two photos and call it a day. And of course, that heavy rain turned into a massive blizzard during the night, and I decided to treat myself with another round of extreme weather within the course of less than 10 hours. Though this time wearing gloves. I love how this camera handles photos like this. The fixed focal length of 23mm really shines when there is a lot of layers in the picture. And since the camera is so compact, you can get really close to the subject without any hassle. I like these photos a lot. The heavy snow gives an extra layer of goodness to them and somehow adds a lot of movement to the scene. Also, here's a pro tip. Use ND filters when shooting a snowy weather like this. When you use the ND filter, the sky won't be burned so easily. And overall, I think it just makes things so much easier. I map the built-in ND filter to this button right here and I feel like it's working quite well like that. Here I spotted a nice reflection of the glass, so I decided to try and capture a ghost riding an escalator. This was the best result I got. I kinda like it.
I did mention that the lens is 23mm, but since this is not a full frame camera, that 23mm actually equals something like 35mm, which is quite safe and familiar choice for a lot of situations. That said, I do think it's a little limiting for a lot of situations, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this camera to someone's main camera, unless you are 100% positive that this quite wide focal length is your game. I like this shot a lot. It's really calm and film-like, and I think I nailed the composition here as well. Good job, me! So, first week or so with the X100 Mark VI, and honestly, already loving it. So what can I say? I guess there is a lot more of these videos coming. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the photos. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button.